Today we'll be looking at a few fiberglass pots we carry. Fiberglass is used throughout the world in a variety of applications. Most boats are made of fiberglass. Automobile bodies are made of fiberglass. Windmills, surfboards, kayaks, and even church steeples are made with fiberglass. The reason being is that it is lightweight and very strong. There are hundreds of different styles of fiberglass cloth that are on the market, but the fiberglass we carry are the most commonly used. We will break down fiberglass cloth into four basic categories. RC, surfboard, aerospace, and boat marine. When handling fiberglass cloth, it is important to wear protective gloves because dry skin can snag and distort the fiberglass cloth. Wear latex, vinyl, or neoprene gloves for best results. The gloves will also protect the cloth from the oils on your hands. The oil from your hands can impede the adhesion of the resin to the fiberglass cloth. The first type of fiberglass we will talk about today is our RC cloth. RC cloths are very lightweight and delicate. They are used to cover balsa core models. This cloth here is style 106, which is a 3 quarter ounce plain weave. This is style 108, which is a 1 and a half ounce plain weave. It is twice as strong and twice as thick as style 106. It is used in the RC industry when a little more strength is needed. Outside the RC world, style 108 is used in vacuum bagging as a surface layer as it wets out clear and is very smooth. This is our surfboard cloth. It is style 1522, which is a 4 ounce plain weave. It is a smooth, soft, easy to use fiberglass cloth. Even though it is the most common surfboard fiberglass, it is also used in cedar strip canoes, kayaks, and any place where a clear, transparent laminate is needed. There are many fiberglass fabrics used in the aerospace industry. The two most common styles are style 120 and style 7781. Style 120 is a 3.2 ounce, 4 harness satin weave. During the weaving process, the fiber bundles are floated over 3 and under 1. This allows the cloth to conform easier to contours. Style 7781 is an 8.9 ounce 8 harness satin weave. This means that the weave floats over 7 bundles, then under 1. Like the Style 120, this weave style makes it conform easier to contours. Certificates of conformance are available upon request for all our fabrics. Material certification can be requested on full rolls of material. Style 3733 is a 6 ounce plain weave cloth also known as sailboat cloth. It is sometimes used on surfboards and is a great general purpose cloth. It lays down nice and smooth and wets out transparent. Style 7532 is a seven and a half ounce plain weave fabric. It is commonly known as boat fabric. It is a mid-weight cloth which wets out easily. A layer or two of 7532 should take care of most projects. Style 7500 is a 10 ounce plain weave. The 7500 is a popular general purpose fabric. It is used in boat construction where a thicker and stronger laminate is needed. It builds up quicker than style 3733 or 7532. Style 7500 is also used in mold making. During the mold making process, it is used to back the chopped strand mat layer. It gives the mold strength. We also carry fiberglass tape. Our tape is a 6 ounce plain weave cloth. It comes in widths of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 inches. Typically, this is used if you need to place a strip of fiberglass along a seam or to wrap around a tubular structure. It has a nice selvage edge that keeps it from fraying along the edges. Fiberglass tape does not have an adhesive backing. It is just a fiberglass cloth in narrower widths. In conclusion, we hope you find this video very informative in helping you choose the right fiberglass cloth for your project. Remember, weight, strength, and thickness are all characteristics of the fiberglass that you will want to take into consideration when choosing a cloth. Check out our website at www.fiberglasswarehouse.com for more information. You can also find our contact information there. We are happy to answer any of your questions. 
We'll be coming out with more videos in the future, videos on choosing resin, and also how to laminate cloth and resin together.